Okay, the next bit of this video is uh, change the seal. Now, these seals have been on this this particular valve for over 20 years and I do know that a couple of these are broken. If you find that it's so difficult to operate this, you find you find that these pieces of plastic start getting very brittle and break. Now, I don't know what, whether we can see this properly, but at the top of there you can see that it's corroded. It's corroded here. It's, it's terrible. I'm going to endeavour to try and actually take it apart. Here we got is a seal, you can see, and there is the removable end here. These two prongs here fit in the slots in the top of the new the rubber seal. It's got a plastic body. I've got some new ones there, I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, we're going to endeavour to get this out. So this should Just clip in. Just hide the view. I can't really see what I'm doing, but uh, I'm going to put the light up. And you can see right inside there, I can't get this tool in because the, the seal has been weeping slightly. So I think what I'm going to do is get a screwdriver on it and clear these grooves out. Okay, I'm just showing you if I can, hopefully, this spindle here, the seal has been leaking. Now you can see all this verde grey that's actually filled the slot where I am trying to get this seal remover. So hopefully now I will be able to actually get this in. I'll just try it. the tool that's actually fitted. I don't know whether you can see that. It's fitted on there. Hopefully I can now undo the seal. Okay I'm gonna just remove the old seal now. You can see it's all corroded up here. Now Basically, when I fitted these 20 years ago, that's how long they last, 19, 20 years. I'm taking this off. As I say, this here, if you find that's very hard to turn, then obviously, that's the old steel out. Now, any corrosion on there, best to turn that round the other way, This nice plastic end will knock all the verdigray off. So push that up and down, turn it and then look at that clean. I'm using silicon grease, a bit on the end of the finger on that shaft. Here's the new seal, silicon grease in the hole now we'll screw that in using the proprietary Drayton seal and balancing tool. Let's get my head out of the way if I can and just do that seal up. You don't have to rinse this up 
it's a little bit fiddly but it certainly is for me there we are you will notice or may not notice that the seal as well as the center which is that part there down the bottom here there is right where my fingernail is there is a little o-ring and that seals inside down the bottom so there's no need to wrench that on I'm now going to put the valve cover up to start the thread going recommend you have that wide open and then that enables you to just do that up tight make sure that that's facing the front Two hands on here. There we are. I can't move that. Beautiful. Look at that. That's so easy now. Now one of mine's upstairs. Basically, that was so hard to turn. Just nip, nip that up it broke the plastic in here and this just fell off 20 pound plus for a new head don't forget silicon grease inert won't rot anything you don't have to have a pot that size but just get the smallest one and it will pay for itself in the extended life of that seal thanks very much for watching the video i hope you found this useful